Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show how FME Server can be used to handle SNS events. SNS is Amazon Simple Notification Service, and with FME 2012, it's easy to consume those events. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a new topic, and we'll just call it SNS Demo. Okay. SNS demo for FME server. Okay, we'll create the topic. Now, um, obviously, what um, can happen is is this topic can be used. We can create a number of new subscriptions to this topic: um, HTTPS, HTTP, email, SMS, um, Amazon SQS, and this is a standard Amazon service. So what? So that's the first part. I've created a topic. Now, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go on FME server and create a workspace that can consume those um, as also as an event using the new notification service okay so here I am in FME and um, what I've done to make it easy for people is I've created a custom format called Amazon SNS reader now what this reader does is it is going to consume the events from Amazon and um, make them come out look like a nice feature. So it's going to decode the whole thing. What it also does is it auto accepts the subscription. So what happens when you create a new subscriber to an Amazon SNS event, what Amazon does is first send a message to that URL that says, hey, do you really want to subscribe to this? And what this reader's doing is wrapping that up so it auto accepts the subscription. So from a user standpoint, you don't have to worry about that handshaking. You'll just simply get the first notification. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to publish this to a repository on my server. So we'll create a new one. We'll call it AWS SNS Demo, okay, just so we can see how this works, Amazon SNS demo. Okay, so that's where I'm going to put it. I'm publishing this this custom format up there because I'm going to use this custom format in a very simple workspace. So I simply push all the way up there, just taking all the defaults, and now I've published this simple uh, custom format to the server. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a workspace to use that reader. So I'm going to create a very trivial one that's going to simply write whatever I get in the notification to Google Fusion Table so we can we can see it. But of course we could do whatever we wanted with this notification. Um, anything that FME Server can do. So I'm going to say main here. Let's add a reader. And now we have this new reader, Amazon SNS Reader. Okay, data set. I also provide, this is going to be on the FME store, I also provide sample input data so you can test your thing locally on the workspace. This is the sample data that I grabbed from, from Amazon. So I simply say open. Okay. And there we go. We now have the reader in here. Now I said I wanted to go to, to Google Fusion Table. So we'll write a, add a new writer and we'll say um, Google Fusion tables, non-spatial. I don't have anything spatial in this case. And the parameters would be um, your Google account. And I have a test one here. Let's hope I get the password right. If not, it'll certainly tell me when I go to use it. Okay. And we're not going to add any new feature types right now because I'm simply going to say duplicate on writer. And there we go. So now I'm able to test this. Okay, um, what's the name of the table? Let's call it uh, SNS Relay. Okay, because I have a table up here that I want to write to. Okay, so Google Docs, I want to write it to this table, which is currently empty. Okay, and so we don't want to create the table and we just want to use it. So I'm going to go like that. And there we go. So now I have this workspace um, set up. And of course, like everything on FME server, I can run it. Okay. And um, it'll tell me if everything's going fine. Okay. Did I get the user and password right? Certainly looks like I did. Okay. So I go to my, I can simply refresh this and hopefully there it is okay so that was my test run i'm going to get rid of that because that was just some sample data that i that i had there now we're going to publish this to 
that server there. Yep, that's the one. Okay, and we're good. Now we're also going to register this with the subscription service and we're going to create a new topic. Okay, let's create a new topic called uh, Amazon SNS Relay, just for sake for, ah, well, it's called Amazon SNS. There we go. Okay, I could call it whatever I wanted, of course, but for this demo, that's going to make it easy for us to see what's going on. I simply say, okay, and now I publish, and now what I've done is I have created the service for that'll talk to Amazon. So now let's go back and take a look at the notification and topics. If I refresh this, okay, you'll see under topics, I have a new one, Amazon SNS, and I have one job that is actually subscribed to that. So now what I need to do is I need to populate Google Fusion tables, and that's easy. I'm just going to go to the REST API okay on this thing I'm gonna get my security token okay get my security token um, and we'll say 45 days whatever generate token copy and close login and um, now I'm going to get the rest API call I need so we'll say topics we'll say Amazon SNS and I simply grab this URL as this is going to be the body of my um, Amazon work. Okay, so now where's Amazon? Here it is. So now I'm going to say create new, um, this is the topic, SNS demo. I simply say create new subscription. In this case, I'm using HTTP. Okay, I'm going to paste this here. Okay, I'm going to put my URL on the front, HTTP colon slash slash dondemo.safe.com. And I'm going to say subscribe. Now when I click subscribe, what happened is Amazon immediately sent a subscription ID. And if I go to two requests to it, now it happened to come back so fast that this one's actually uh, almost auto subscribed. Okay, so if I go to SNS demo, you'll see that I didn't even um, see it pending. Um, now the way I can check that is if I go to jobs here, you'll actually see that a job in the history was fired that ran that Amazon SNS demo right there. Okay, that's that one. Now that was a subscription um, request, so now we're totally ready to go. So now I go back to Amazon, and you can imagine I can publish to this topic. I could say, hi there, this is a message from the Amazon SNS system. Okay, before I do that, let's um, look at my doc again. It should be empty still, okay, because I didn't, that subscription one, I didn't keep, okay? We could have, but I didn't, the way I've set up the reader. Okay, now we're going to publish the message. Been sec successfully published, so now I'm going to go back to SNS Google Fusion table and refresh it, and you will see that the value is there. So this demonstrates that it's very easy to set up FME server to consume Amazon SNS messages. And I've basically done the whole thing here. This workspace and custom format will be made available on the FME store. So you'll be able to use this as well. So thank you.